What's up everybody? We're back out today at Calero and from some posts I've been seeing it looks like there's a lot of bass on beds right now so we brought some bed presentations. We got the sleeper gill jig and a drop shot and we're gonna see if we can't yoink some bass off the beds and put them right back. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's get fishing. Water is definitely lower than it was last time because we can see the island is exposed once again and there's some land over there that you can actually walk on it looks like so we will have to go try over there Let's see last time we were standing on that rock casting out this way so we will try that again today water still looks relatively pretty clear I think we will start with the jig and then switch to the drop shot. <clears throat> Wind is against us today. Standing on that rock and I think we're casting a little more left than we are casting right now. One more time with the jig, and then we'll switch over to the uh, drop shot. Stupid backlash. There we go. First one of the day. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> it's a good fight. It's probably about a two pounder, if I had to guess. Thank you. <laughs> Just dragging that jig slowly over the rocks, bumping it. Felt a little tick tick, and then had a fish on. Started off where we had luck last time. All right, we started off where we had luck last time. Luck again. They say don't leave fish to find fish. Looks like he doesn't really have too many holes in his face, so I don't think he's been caught recently. Let's see how much he weighs. Two point four. 2.4 nice little spawning fish he has a little blood on his tail so he's making a bed somewhere I'm gonna get him back <laughs> oh. going the wrong way there you go see you later Jimmy all right first fish what kind of damage do you do to her jig not too much too much at all. All right, well, the jig worked. Let's see if uh, it'll work again for us. There's one, typically there can be more. I was moving that one a little fast, so maybe we'll speed up our retrieve a little bit. Makes sense with the wind being like it is right now. And sink to the bottom.
little smaller. Woo. Calm down there, Jimmy. There we go. This one's probably about a two. I don't think it's bedding yet because it's got no blood on its tail. All right, yeah. Another one, another one right here. It's probably two or right under two. We will find out. All right, y'all, second fish. Let's get a little weight on him. Two exactly, two on the dot, two pounder. It's uh, this one a little gentle toss. Wrong way, wrong, wrong way. There you go. See you later, bud. Two fish, not too bad. Jig is working pretty good. See if we can make it work again. Yeah, that second fish we didn't even really feel a bite. Our line just went taut and then we noticed the line was moving, so I set the hook. And Jim Bob there had ate it already. Are they they're gonna blast off right next to where all the fish are, aren't they? God damn it. Yeah, right over the top. Yeah. It's like right over. <laughs> it's like right over the top of where I was getting all the bites too. It's like, why do they have to do that right on the bank? It's like, we don't got a boat, can't go out there and fish. It's just like, yeah, screw all the bank anglers. But why? <laughs> well, this spot's probably not good for another half hour. It's good, man. Doing all right. Yeah, luckily I caught a couple before that guy showed up. <laughs> All right, y'all, we changed spots. There's a uh, power boater down over there. You can see him in the distance. He keeps going over all the banks, which is where the fish are, so making it pretty much unfishable. So we switched to the other side of the boat ramp where it's hopefully too shallow for him to uh, screw things up. So we're gonna try over here and let's get back to it. like that and see what the cast with the wind looks like little guy <laughs> yeah oh, I think yeah it's a it's a large mouth thought it was a spot for a second <laughs> thank you <laughs> y'all third fish of the day little uh dinky probably a little under a pound we're gonna get him back in the water real quick yeah, <laughs> there he goes 
Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I think that little guy is what hit our jig, but obviously now it's like pretty self-explanatory of why he didn't uh, get it in his mouth. This tiny little dude. Little tiny dude. So a one, a two, and a 2.4 so far today. It's pretty all right. Three fish from the bank, can't complain. Well, we'll try one more cast with just the green pumpkin. Alrighty, are they gonna go right over the top of us? Come on, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> all right y'all that's gonna conclude the day today at calero we got here you know uh we went to the spot that we historically had luck at had luck again surprise surprise we found out after last time that there's an old house foundation down there so it makes sense why bass are staging and bedding in that general area you know so we caught two nice ones um that power boater dude showed up sort of blew out the spot and everywhere else on the bank so we went uh, to the more shallow the shallowest side caught that maybe one pounder probably a little under um, always happy to catch a fish so three fish total today we tried three new spots and we didn't have any luck we went back to our old two spots where we caught fish initially and the, there was another power boater and a lot of wind so Overall, it's a pretty good day. Three fish, can't complain. Um, a lot better than yesterday at Lock. <laughs> uh, yep, so, but, you know, we set out here to catch some bedding fish. We did so, and it's a really nice day outside. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. That was a hit. Still got him. Oh no, he came off. Dang it, you guys. Why did I have my drag so loose? <laughs>